Welcome everyone, this is James from Square Go Gamers and this is not a video I was expecting to make tonight. Holy wow. This is Devil May Cry 5, or at least the demo for Devil May Cry 5. And whoo baby, I am excited about this one. Capcom, you have just been pulling tricks out the bag recently, haven't you? This is just amazing. I had no idea that this was even coming out. Yes, I want to make a save game. I knew Devil May Cry 5 was coming out. And as soon as I saw that trailer all those months ago, I was very happy about this game. Because I am in so much love with this franchise. Okay. Uh, so I'm just setting up my... Yep, that's fine. Be all visible. That's fine. Cool, so that's about the same. Barely visible, cool. Auto assist? <laughs> nah, man. Auto assist is for pussies. I love, 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 love this franchise. Some of my earliest gaming memories from the PS2 was Devil May Cry. Hello, Nero. Oh. oh, I love you, Capcom. Nico's Devil Breakers are fragile, shattering if you take a hit while using them. Know when to use them sparingly and when to go all out. Devil Breaker. Overture. A user-friendly Devil Breaker with average power can take out puny demons in one hit. An Overture skill... Oh, be... Okay, so... There's no point reading every single one of these because it's not going to give you time. 15th That's of June, it. half five in the morning. No more wheels from here. All right, guess I'm walking then. Yo, yo, yo. Check it out. What? And this is? From Morrison. I think it's his manifesto. The graphics are beautiful. Oh, uh, just hearing Johnny Young Bosch's voice is amazing. He's one of my favorite voice actors of all time. Easily, right. Gun, Devil Bring a Break. That's about watch what I expected from Devil May Cry, Lock On, Overture. Oh, okay, Overture is a style of your Devil Breaker. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is... It breaks no time in breaking into this. Double jump is a thing. So it's not like the red rose, you can Oh, you can crank it up. Oh, yes. I remember how to do that. The red orbs, as always, this game is bahooking stunning. So as I've said, Devil May Cry is easily... Oh, hello. Easily one of my favorite franchises of all time. Devil Breaker. Oh, wow. You can't swap from Overture to. Oh, you can. Oh, do you only have a limited amount of them? Okay, right, that's fine. That's handy to know now. Okay, so basic premise of this game so far is it's pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's like Capcom's just went, okay, Team Ninja, I see what you did with the, your DMC, but let's show you how the big boys handle it. Let's show you what the fans really want. Devil Breaker. Hold and release consumes one Devil Breaker. Okay. Okay. Yes! Yeah. 
Oh, I missed you. The music. Yes! Oh, this is everything I wanted it to be. Please excuse me if I'm being a bit rusty. I have not played a Devil May Cry game in so long. Oh, this is just... Oh, he's giving me the giggles. Get over here. Apocalyptic levels of destruction. Yes, I got an S rank! Okay, it looks like we're in Britain. Like, I should know that those are our fucking signs and buses and and stuff. Right, breakaway. Sever and detonate your arm, losing a devil breaker in your magazine. A city like this. What city are we in? Are we in London Town? Oh, hello. Is we in London? Can I kill you? Yeah, I can. Green orbs. Oh, you're weird looking. Magical green stone of personalized green fluid. Oh, it's for hell. As always. Yeah. Not making it easy for me, huh? Oh, uh, my earliest memories, as I said, on the PS2. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep a train of thought, but I'm just... <laughs> it's really difficult. Um, Devil May Cry 1 on the PS2. I think I played that when I was 13, 14 maybe? And I just remember being scared shitless of it. Um, like the music in it, the... It was specifically when... At the beginning of the first level, uh, you were getting to the end and you were fighting the marionettes. But they were all hanging from the roof and they were just freaky looking and it always scared me when I was first played it. And then I got into it and I realised how wonderful this franchise was. Oh! There's some lying about. Awesome. Okay, is this where I came from? Yes, okay. So this franchise holds a special place in my heart. And even when the Devil May Cry game isn't good, like Devil May Cry 2, it's still fun as hell to play. Car like it's nothing. Hell, you know, I know. Oh, well. Either way, it dies. Because obviously my moves are limited just now, I can only do so much with what I'm doing, but this music is amazing. It feels like an old school Devil May Cry. That's the only way I can describe it. It feels like Devil May Cry 4, oh, because obviously it's the same studio um, that handled, but it's also got the new Resident Evil engine, and you can see where, if you get a chance, download it. It has done wonderful things. The, um, the controls are tight. It's just taken me a wee while to get back into the swing of things. And obviously, my combos are not going to be phenomenal just yet, because you're just starting out. So far, everything about this is exactly what I wanted it to be. Gerbera. Press circle to fire a shockwave in front of you. And, okay. With the Gerbera equiped, press and hold circle until the arm glows, then release. Okay. Tips. Holding circle down until your devil breaker crackles with energy to unlock its latent potential. 
but it breaks the Devil Breaker, so use with caution. Okay. Oh, you get to taste different things because it's the demo. Okay, I can even more that. Right. Charge! Oh, I got hit. No, sir! No, I don't want any of you! Who oh, are you? Mosquito with a green ass! Yes! Oh! My favorite game on the PlayStation 2, bar none almost, like apart from Jack and Dexter, was Devil May Cry 3. I clocked in easily 50 to 100 hours on that, and I would do it again. And that wasn't even the special edition, that was just the regular version of the game. I was in love with it. It was stylish, it was fun to play, and Dante just solidified himself as a badass in every shade of that game. Savage! Oh, I cannot wait to see what the full game of this offers. <laughs> I didn't even know it was a tree. I didn't know what it was. Okay, okay. Where are we going? Down? Yeah, we're going down. So that's orbs. You just have chairs and stuff to get orbs again. Not right now, but maybe later. In Gerbera. Okay. Is there no way of swapping your devil arms? Other than smashing them off. Probably not. Okay, come here. Sorry if I seem a bit speechless, but oh, this is just everything I wanted it to be. I keep saying that, but I wasn't expecting this demo. I didn't even know it was. It's literally just been released today. I have to five, remember right. So, do yourself a favor. If you are a fan of this franchise in any way at all, even if you're not and you want to try and get into it, download this demo. It's absolutely free. It's on the PlayStation Store. I don't know if it's on Xbox. Have a look. I kind of hope it is. I want this franchise to keep going. Nighthawk Hatchling. It feeds on weakened part of the Quip Puff. Destroying this internal structure. I'm guessing that's the big fucking tree. Oh, I'm playing. Sorry. Okay, right. Where am I going? Oh, you can drop kick! Tree root obstacles. Drop a parasitic Nidhogg hatchling into a demon tree root in your path to proceed forward. Okay. Get in there! Tasty! That looks like it's gonna explode, Nero. No fucks were given. But so, I wanna take a second, just look at his hair. The graphics are stunning. The character models look. Well, sorry, models, I say, but just him. He looks incredible. Come on! And you can taunt as always. I don't know how long this demo lasts, I'm just. It's pretty sweet. I'm just enjoying it. I kinda. It sounds weird, but I kinda want it to be short and sweet. Like, it's just a 
burst of flavor of what you're gonna get and then just leave you wanting more. But at the same time, I'm selfishly just wanting to play more. Okay. Answer the telephone, Nero. I guess the phone still works. Took you long enough, dumbass. What happened to the third ring roll? Tell you what. <laughs> and she's going to be your upgrade person throughout the game. Devil May Cry. Looks like she, everyone works with Dante now. You can call Nico's trailer where you can trade radar for skills and items. Called it! Okay. Oh, what's this? Health. Okay. We still get health. Uh, orbs. That is awesome. Customize! Okay. Here you can replace your Devil Breakers. Okay, so you can buy more gloves and shit. Equipment. You can edit to find a style that suits you. Okay. Red Queen. Uh, oh, I'm just short. Okay. Exceed level 2. Abilities. Air hike. I will be back for the roulette spin. I am so close to getting it. And I will be back. Because I want that. Music's nice. I love how you can still hear, like, you can hear the sounds of the music in the car. It's a nice touch. Just need a couple more orbs. There's some line about. Right, got what I need. Let's go upgrade my weapon. Yo, you just here to okay. bring shop? Oh, she's cheeky. Off to you. As I, as is expected with Devil May Cry, you do have a little bit of fan service. As you can clearly see. But I I don't think it takes away from anything. She's attract she's meant to be attractive, obviously, and it's not overly so. I quite like. I'm tripping over my words. <laughs> um The character models are nice. I'll go with there. But there's not one female in, in the Devil May Cry franchise that are really damsels, other than Kirie from Devil May Cry 4. <laughs> and zero fucks were given. Somebody call a doctor? You win. I wasn't expecting any survivors. Wow. Sorry to disappoint you. Hey, you happen to see a guy around here? About this big, uses a cane? I was supposed to meet him. Did you snack on him? <sighs> Your blood is a very precious sacrifice. Even you would do me no Jesus, his teeth has I teeth. Give every last drop to rule the underworld as king. <laughs> king? You? I don't know. I mean, you're a big guy and all, but you seem more like a knuckle-scrapping fart in the wind than anything else. <laughs> yeah, no offense. Hey, do you do parties? 
incandescent colossus. That is fire, then. Goliath. Okay. Maybe I will. Sorry, I'm about to Oh, hello. As always, the Devil May Cry, you've got huge, massive, amazing looking bosses. And it's just wonderful, it's just a hack and slash dream. Right, I'm out of gloves, but I'm not too worried about that so much. I'm just... Uh, I can't even describe how happy this game makes me. Oh, my health's not doing so good. Okay, I need to actually think about what I'm doing now. Then I'll get hit. I don't want to get hit. Oh, hello. I want to avoid that. I want to avoid that. No. I feel like I just got swallowed. I did. Okay, cool. That's that's probably stand. Jesus. Do you get items in this? Click away and use Charles the Word or No, okay. The last judgment draweth nigh. Who okay. care? That's a weird way of saying game over. Boost lock all. Holding down circle until your devil breaker crackles with energy will unlock its latent potential. Oh, I'm That's back at the beginning. It. No more okay. wheels from here. Alright, guess I'm walking then. Yo, yo, yo! Check it out. What? Oh, I can skip this, okay. Can I? Yes, I can. Right, so we'll pretend that didn't happen, will we? Customize. Okay. Seems to be a lot of loading screens. Buy in bulk. There is no discount for buying in bulk. Okay, sounds. Uh, do, 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 do. Buy a punchline. Oh, cool! You can actually see you're giving it to you. Ah, no! I'm gonna buy a Gerbera as well. You better take care of that. We both know I'm not, honey. Okay. So that is, I'm assuming, how you'll be able to handle all transactions before you start a mission. 
cool. This is awesome. I can't even... All I can keep saying to you is buy the, de buy the demo. But it's not even buy, it's get the demo. So just get the demo, get the demo, get the demo. Then I mentioned get the demo. What a mess. Right, so now that I know what I'm doing, I can just kind of fly through this a bit. I love how the lock on feature, if you haven't noticed already, when you lock onto an enemy, the circle that you lock onto them with is their health. So you can always see how much damage you're doing and how far away an enemy is before you kill them. Genuinely look like you're gonna explode. But I'll take an airing. What are demons doing in a city like this? Punchline. Something to this place. Over here. Oh, you're just a, you're just for red orbs. I've just noticed that now. To get red orb bugs, they specifically give you whole tons of orbs. That's awesome. Not making it easy for me, huh? Yeah. Take these out again. So, anyone who's ever played a Devil May Cry game in their life, whether it be one from the original quadrilogy, I want to see, even though it's not really a word. Trilogy plus one. What is the group term for a four? Leave a comment. I don't... Educate me. What's the group term for four instead of three? So you've got a single double trilogy. I don't know what four is. Help me out here. Um, And then... So if you ever played any of those, you'll understand why people love these games. They're just fast-paced, furious fun. And the characters are just lovely, lovely characters. <laughs> They're so lovely. Okay, and then... Devil May Cry 3 introduced the idea of Dante having a brother, a la Virgil, who very quickly became a fan favourite. And then Devil May Cry 4, a lot of people thought that they were trying to replace him with Nero, which I, I don't think that was the case. I think he was more like a spiritual successor rather than a replacement. A lot of people didn't like Nero. I did. I really liked Nero. I liked him more than whatever that redhead wifey was from number two. Hell, I even liked him more than Trish. But again, that's just my opinion. Um, Lady was a bit of a pain in the arse at the beginning of three. But then she mellowed out eventually. And then DMC. Who oh boy. They tried so hard to create something fresh, new with the DMC name. And they, tr they tried to 
have it be similar but also be their own take on it and it just honestly it was never going to work to begin with purely because of how loved the original trilogy was as similar as the gameplay was and it basically was like playing one of the original devil may cries with the fast paced style and the way you fight everything everything was there but they just ruined it with how they remade Dante and how they changed they changed everything Dante went from a wisecracking badass who could talk you could talk the talk because he knew he could walk the walk whereas the remake from DMC he just came across as a whiny tryhard again this is all entirely my opinion don't take my word for gospel God for that. thank you but I feel like people thought DMC was going to be the franchise killer like after that because uh, Team Ninja took over people thought if that's where the f direction of the franchise is going from there on as far as many people including myself I will admit thought Devil May Cry was dead um, like the Devil May Cry we knew loved and grew up with was done there would never be another game like this and then here we are I want to say three, four years later, maybe? And how wrong we were. And I have never been happier to be wrong. Alright, give me your slay me, baby. This used to be a skill that you have to get um, in one of the games, like, where you... You just hold run and then you run faster. It used to be you have to buy that skill. <coughs> Excuse me. I never understood that. All I did, but at the same time, it was about to in the earth to waste your orbs on that. Not gonna lie. This new arm is pretty sweet. <laughs> of course, because in Devil May Cry 4, he lost his arm. I can't remember who lobbed it off. It's been a long time since I played it. I guess the phone still works. Uh, I don't need anything. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna buy a bulk of arms. There's no such thing as too prepared. Okay. Uh, air hike, I missed that. Uh, I'll buy a bulk. Equipment. Cool. Sorted. Let's get moving. Be interesting to see how you eventually find out what happened with everyone in terms of why it seems to be like uh, Nero's now working with Dante for Devil May Cry along with Mystery Chick here who I don't have a name for yet. Right, we can skip this. We watch this. I'll try not to die. I'm sure I will, but as for right now, sorry, I'm about to kill you. Okay. This is not going well. It's been such a, a while since I played any kind of Devil May Cry game. So I'm still getting my feet. I'm gonna die again, I'm gonna. Yep, it's looking that way. Jack it up all you want. 
Right, I'm not worried about Grace just now, I'm just worried about killing and staying alive. I don't see if we do much damage to him at all. This is gonna be a long boss fight. on the go. Okay, I like that. Okay, I'd rather not, I'd rather not, I'd rather not, I'd rather not, I'd rather not. Please keep me away from his belly flame. Belly flame. Oh, you can escape by using up a devil, devil arm. Right, we're halfway there. I'm literally missing an arm. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, there's one over here. Okay, he has... He's really starting to hurt me now. Shit, there's health over here. I did say I was probably going to die again. Oh my god, thank Christ I got out of the way. Now this game is fantastic in every way possible. I am sucking hard. Just like I said it would if I'm honest. Ah. I'm almost there. Is there any more health or devil arms or anything like that around here that can help me? Probably not. Fuck! Damn it! I am in trouble. Yeah, I got a Kibera. I need some health. Some health would be nice. Is there any? Oh, he is really scaring me right now. Damn it, damn it, damn it! I'll be back. Okay. Let's try this again. I'm going to go through this again. And I'm not going to die this time. So. Thanks to the miracle of editing. I'll be back right now. And here we go again. Third time lucky. Third time lucky. Kill this bitch. Okay. So in my time away, which is probably about 10 minutes in real life, um, I forgot you could charge your bullets up to do more damage. So I'm doing that more and more. And it seems to be working a lot better. Ah, he's still really big. He's still really hard to... Ah! 
Okay, that's round one. Yeah, I'm midair. Sorry if I'm being quiet now, just trying to focus on staying alive. Staying alive. No. It's keeping me alive. I'm out. Next section, final section. So I got my wee arm, picked up my health. Let's do this. Just I know where they are. Okay, there's a couple more bits of health than I thought. and everyone. Look at me go. Oh, fuck. He says, getting too cocky now. I've got no arms to break out of that one. It's a weird sentence I never thought I'd say. Okay, wonderful. Oh, there's an arm over here. What have we got? Overture, nice. Sloppy. A ranking considering I died three times. I can live with that. Devil May Cry is back. Yeah, it is. Oh, who's that weird looking guy on the left? Okay, final verdict. This game 
feels like a true successor to Every Devil May Cry and it fully earns its five numbering in this sequel. Uh, just playing as Nero, not even getting to have a look at Dante is fine by me. Obviously, they're building up the hype and I'm wondering who that trench coat wearing looking guy is. This is going to be a very interesting sequel and I'm so, so, so looking forward to playing it. So if it's something you want to see me, guy, if you guys want to see me play, have a wee mention in the comments below. If you want me to play the originals uh, before this comes out, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. So thank you so, so much for taking the time to have me play this. Hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you for the next video. Catch you later, guys.